Hi students, I am Dr. Mashur. Welcome to my class. In this class, I would like to discuss a wastewater treatment with aquatic plants. The wastewater treatment using aquatic plants. And this treatment system using aquatic plants consists of shallow reservoirs containing floating or submerged aquatic plants. Okay. And this treatment system using aquatic plants consists of shallow reservoirs containing floating and submerged aquatic plants. And the best studied wastewater system are those utilizing duck weeds plants, that is lamina minor plants. This is the best studied wastewater, wastewater treatment system using aquatic plants. And in this case, we are using the uh, duck weeds plants we use for the treatment of wastewater. And generally for this aquatic plant system, uh, wastewater system breaks into two types of uh, plants and based on uh, domain plant types used for the wastewater system or uh, wastewater treatment system and the first type uses floating plants which are distinguished by their ability to meet their need for carbon dioxide oxygen directly from the atmosphere such plants derive their mineral needs from the water okay uh, there are two types of uh, the depends on the plants used for the wastewater uh, treatment system there is two two type of plants were used one is the uh, one is uh, floating plants and this floating plants will collect uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and it will collect minerals and uh, uh, there are other needs from the water. Okay, those are the floating plants. And the second type of treatment system consists of submerged plants, which are distinguished by their ability to absorb oxygen, carbon dioxide, and minerals directly from the water column. And these submerged plants are easily inhibited by turbidity because of their photosynthetic part is under the water. Okay. Uh, this, is the, this is the wastewater uh, treatment system using aquatic plants and this wastewater treatment system uh, using aquatic plants consists of shallow rivers containing floating and submerged aquatic plants and in this uh, type of wastewater treatment uh, system the best, best study system are the plants that are utilizing duck weeds that so means duck weeds, lamina minor a plan where you set up in the wastewater system that system is well studied uh, aquatic plants wastewater treatment system and generally this treatment system break into a two type based on the dominant plants types used for the wastewater treatment system that means the first type is the floating plants in that floating plants we can easily identify this floating plants by these plants will take up oxygen carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and this uh, plants will take the minerals and other essential minerals from the water these are the floating plants which is involved in the aquatic plants that is used for the wastewater treatment and the second type that is the submerged type and this submerged type we can easily identify by this plants will take up oxygen carbon dioxide and other minerals and uh, nutrients from the water itself okay and the growth and uh, this uh, submerged plants are easily inhibited by the uh, turbidity by the turbidity because this plants photosynthetic uh, plants are under the water that's why it, it cannot uh, able to take light from the sun because of this turbidity Okay, this is the wastewater plant, uh, waste, uh, this plant, that aquatic plant that is used for the wastewater treatment uh, system. Okay. Now we can see the artificial wetlands. An artificial wetland system is uh, used for the treating wastewater in a shallow constructed pond or channels no more, no more than 0.6 meter deep okay in artificial weather system the wastewater is 
treated in a shallow concentrated ponds or channels and there is no more than 0.6 meter deep and according plants were planted in this plant okay according plants were planted in this wetlands and natural process are utilized to treat the wastewater and this process require little or no energy to operate okay and if there is adequate and cheap land is available near the effluent source the insertion of water treatment the land can be cost effective alternative okay and in addition to constructive wetland provide for wildlife and is are aesthetically pleasing to the eyes and this uh, you can see the artificial wetland in artificial wetland system is of uh, used for the treating wastewater in a shallow constructed ponds or uh, channels and there is no more than 0.6 meter deep and aquatic plants were planted in this system and the natural process are utilized to treat the wastewater that means this aquatic plants were treat the uh, this wastewater and this process required little or no energy to operate and if there is adequate cheap land is available near to the effluent source that means wastewater uh, uh, near to the wastewater source and installation of this wetland treatment system using aquatic plant that is will be the cost effective alternative for the treatment of wastewater and in addition to constructed wetlands this will provide habitat for wildlife and this means this wetland we can use for the treatment of wastewater and it also provide habitat for the wildlife and it also give aesthetically pleasing to the eye because we get this is a wetland and we can plant some uh, plant there and it will give, uh, give provide habitat for the wildlife for uh, wild animals some small wild animals like that and it is a it give some aesthetic feelings to the eye, our eye this is about the artificial wetland and here we are using the aquatic plants to treat the wastewater And here you can see the type of phytoremediation and location of the plant where the process occurred. Phytoremediation uh, means uh, the uh, removal of uh, polluted pollution or the pollu uh, pollutants uh, by using plants. That is a phytoremediation. First, you can see the type of phyto extraction. In that, uh, the plants are used to concentrate metals in parts harvested because these plants will uh, concentrate metals in the leaves and roots and uh, uh, metals like cadmium, cobalt, chromium, nickel, mercury, lead, selenium, zinc were concentrated in the leaves and uh, roots of the plant. And the second type is a rhizofiltration. The plant's roots are used to absorb, precipitate and concentrate heavy metals from the contaminated liquid effluent and to degrade organic compounds okay rise of filtration uh, this process is okay and the cadmium cobalt chromium nickel mercury lead selenium zinc uh, radioactive isotopes and phenolic compounds were concentrated in this rise of filtration and in the phyto stabilization uh, the other type is the, phy the phyto remediation other method is the phyto stabilization in that metal tolerant plants are used to reduce the mobility of metals and prevent their passage to groundwater or the air okay in the phyto stabilization process the plants will uh, 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 will use the metal tolerant plants are used to reduce the mobility of metals and metals to prevent their passage to uh, groundwater or to the air and Logons rid of uh, mineral deposits, proposal for the phenolic and chlorinated compounds. These are uh, pollutant treated in this uh, phytostabilization. And, and the other method is the phytostimulization type of phytoremediation. In that, 
root, uh, root exudates promote the development of microorganisms like bacteria and fungi and capable of biodegrading compounds okay in the phytostimulation session root uh, exudates promote the growth of uh, development of microorganism that are capable of uh, biodegrading the com uh, compounds and in this phytostimulation session petroleum uh, hydrocarbons and polyaromatic benzene toluene adrazine will be uh, degraded using the phytostimulation uh, process and uh, in the phytostimulation process uh, the, in, uh, uh, this uh, root exudates promote the growth of microorganism and this microorganism will degrade uh, this petroleum hydrocarbons uh, and uh, chlorinated solvents uh, sorry uh, polyaromatic benzene toluene and atrazine etc and another type of uh, phyto, uh, phyto remediation is the phyto volatilization in this case the plants take up uh, heavy metals and organic compounds bind or uh, modify them and, uh, and release the byproduct into the atmosphere by the transpiration okay in the phyto volatilization plants take up heavy metals and organic compounds bind or modify them and release the byproducts into the atmosphere via transpiration uh, like uh, metals like mercury selenium chlorinated solvents uh, is treated using this method of uh, phyto volatilization and another one, one type of phyto remediation is the phyto decomposition both aquatic and terrestrial plants capture organic compounds and store them or decompose them into less toxic or less uh, uh, and non-toxic compounds okay in the phyto decomposition process aquatic or terrestrial plants that will absorb the uh, organic compounds and store them and decompose into less toxic or non-toxic compounds and uh, TNT, DNT and RTX nitrobenzene like molecules is treated using this phyto decomposition process. These are the phyto renovation process, uh, uh, done process is done by the aquatic plants. And these are the some of the plants that is used for the phyto remediation or the Accord for the aquatic uh, for the treatment of uh, wastewater using the aquatic plants. These are the some plants used for the treatment system. And, and this wastewater treatment system using aquatic plants having some advantages. And this plant can be used uh, used as a low cost extraction device to purify the polluted water. And in some cases, this plant decomposes wastewater than microorganisms and the method can be applied to large areas or to complete the declare and contamination of restricted areas in lengthy periods okay these are the advantages these plants can be used as a low cost extraction device to purify the polluted water and in some cases plant can this plant plants can decompose wastewater than microorganism and the method can be applied to large area or to complete the decontamination uh, com de of residual area in a lengthy period. And this wastewater treatment using aquatic plants and uh, system having some limitations. One is the process is limited to shallow water or depth uh, to which road can penetrate. And this process can be time consuming. Okay. this process will be time consuming and there is a biological limit to the metals and the compound that can be captured okay and these are the limitation one is that this process only limited to shallow water where up to the uh, plants can uh, reach the root in the bottom and uh, if the depth of the uh, pond or uh, pond is uh, Increases that then this system is not possible, and this process of uh, aquatic wastewater uh, treatment using aquatic process is somewhat time consuming, and there, there is a, some biological limit 
that plants or plants can able to tolerate the uh, pollutants and this biological limit of metals and compounds that can be captured because beyond this biological limit this plant can't be able to survive this location these are the limitation of wastewater treatment using aquatic plants and i hope you understood this class thank you thank you for the listening